Hey everybody, Terry Daniel here. I wanted to show you how I edit on a Adobe Audition 3.0. I'm kind of stealing a page from John Taylor, a good friend of mine who lives out in uh, Los Angeles. He did one of these uh, a few weeks ago and I wanted to show you what I was doing. As I mentioned last week, I'm doing a series of fictional stories for a client and I wanted to take a Camtasia screen video of Adobe Audition, but I seem to have sucked all the memory right out of my computer and I can't run them both together right now. I know, it's, 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 it's time for a new computer, I think. So I had to, to bring out the old flip cam, and it's currently sitting on the world's worst tripod, so I'd better hurry up and do this before the whole camera comes tumbling down. So, this is Adobe Audition 3.0. I've been using this software, it seems like, for 100 years. I'm very comfortable with it, uh, and it, I'm not sure if you can tell. I don't have somebody running the camera, so I'm at about 2 minutes and 44 seconds. This one was a good one to use for training purposes because... Um, this one's only three pages, so as you can see, I'm at two minutes and 44, so this is what I'm doing right now. Into air and light, and they all, and they all. And as you can see, I, uh, I have, I kind of screwed up on this line, so I want to get to this one here. And they, and light, and they all, all of them, stop their lives, that day, all of them. And you caught me at a good time when I screwed up. This all way. of them, stop their lives. All of them, all of them stop their lives that day to watch. And they all, all of them, and they all set free into air and light. And they all, all of them stop their lives that day to watch. Wow, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's the end. Okay, well, you saw a few uh, ways that I edit. You saw me eliminate a couple of mistakes and minimize the, uh, some, sometimes you'll have a pause that's a little too long, and it kind of helps them out sometimes if you can do a lot of this editing yourself. Uh, some of these projects are different. Sometimes they just want to, they want you just to record the file. They don't care how many times you make a mistake, uh, and then just send it to them because they have an editor on staff. A lot of times they want you to eliminate uh, the mistakes, and in this case, that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, but I try to make it as easy, you know, as easy for the client as possible by doing this. So uh, that's just, as you can see, I have all different, I have different shortcuts that I use for minimizing some of the space on Adobe Audition 3.0. And even some of you that use different audio interfaces other than the one that I use, a lot of them work very similarly. There might be some different features but uh, they all generally kind of look like this. They're just kind of set up differently. So uh, I hope this was helpful and kind of cool. If you want, you can, now this is basically what I do to save the file. Uh, this particular story was called uh, Origami Bird. That was the name of it. Origami. Yeah. And they did want me to do the title and the author for some reason at the beginning of every story. So I did that. Uh, and basically now I'm going to save this and uh, send it to the client. Not spelling that right. And uh, basically, once you get your stuff going in, in your voiceover career, you're going to want to uh, start a different folder for every client and just keep it on your external hard drive just so it's just easier to find uh, different files. That one was very easy. That was already set up. And uh, this one is ready to go. Origami Bird. Actually, uh, you know what? I forgot to do something. This is good because this will be perfect for training purposes. Basically, uh, you might have heard the term normalize in, a, uh, in the voiceover industry. That basically just brings the level up to broadcast quality uh, volume so to speak, for lack of a, a better way to explain it. And what I do is I just do this, and then I have a, um, basically my shortcut key for normalize would be the letter N, as you can see, and this will bring it to 100%. As you'll notice, the volume will increase, and now this is Snag some scrap of paper out. or trash and speak what he was unable to find words for. Now I've got a nice little feature on Adobe Audition. Uh, this is a fairly soundproof studio, but Adobe Audition does have some features on there where you can eliminate a little bit of floor noise, a little bit of room noise. 
uh, I like to use this feature here. It's called adaptive noise reduction. So I put that on at the end and I let that run. And basically this is gonna take a little less than a minute. It just cleans up a little of that extra, uh, you know, noise in between in between the dialogue. And again, you know, this room is fairly soundproof, so we don't get a lot of it, but this is just gonna make it that much better. Some people, to like, uh, some people like to use this, some people just skip it. Uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist that way. So as you can see, we're, we're applying the adaptive noise reduction right now. And once this is completed, we will uh, send out the file. Right now I have no idea if I'm even in the shot because I had to set up this camera. <laughs> There's nobody running the camera, so uh, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. A um, couple more seconds here. Now you already saw me save it to send it the file, so I don't need to do that again, but this will basically, uh, well actually I will, let's just do it again. This will just override the, uh, overwrite the other file that I saved, and then it's just going to save it again. And now, a lot of you have heard me talk about usendit.com. This is my favorite uh, tool for sending large files. I'm going to find the client's name in the subject header. It's always nice to uh, include the name of the, the project to make it easier for them. Typing's really horrible. And since I've been working on this all day, there's, their particular folder comes right up. Um, there we go hit open the files right there and I send it to the client you've seen I, I did a whole tutorial on you send so if you haven't had a chance to uh, uh, see that yet uh, just let me know and I can send you the video but uh, basically this just sends large files at a rapid rate it shows up in the clients inbox it's a it's a downloadable link that they can uh, they can keep forever and basically, basically, they can just download the file into their uh, hard drive or whatever, or their external hard drive, hopefully. But uh, And then it's gone. So there it is right there. I hope that uh, this was helpful, and uh, I apologize. Usually when I use Camtasia Studio, it's a, it's a close-up screen video of uh, the audio software. But this will give you a general idea uh, on how I edit and how I send off the file. So take care, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.